in my opinion, the the it, you know it's such subtleties that go into the 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 a, a, a sound a treatment like that. You can't you just can't repeat it twice. Like I, I really I I tried, but I couldn't get exactly. It was missing something. So I, I don't think the third verse one's as good as the first two verses, but but uh, but it's still fine. Um, has its own thing to it. And then uh, and then a bunch of guitars come in in harmony, which that's something I figured out in the studio. I I, I don't even know what I played. The the chords there are this. Uh, so hard, but, 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 but I, I, I was really, this, that's one of those, like, chord progressions I was just really proud of. It. Um, I like, I like this chord with the E in, with the E in the bass, you know. You know, you're, you're playing these sort of, like, you know, diminished notes, so you feel like it's all right to move up a, minor third and then and then and 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 you but you retain that E in the bass and it's just a really good dark and so um so while that's going on there's a bunch of guitars playing in, in harmony with it you know um i guess like three different guitars like three that play in that group that are playing along, they're basically like playing along with the chords there. And then there's, then we slowed the tape down and we played super high notes to, to go like, bing, 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 bing. They kind of count off one, two, three, four to go into the chorus. And, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't be playable on this guitar. And even if I didn't know what, what notes it was that I played, um, because we had had to slow down the tape and speed it up, um, but yeah, there's a lot of things like that on the album where, you know, basically I've just been exercising my whole part of my brain that 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 understands harmony and that that understands how to create movement with harmony and how to create depth with harmony and those part of my brain that those parts of my brain were just turned on throughout the writing. So when it came time to record. It was pretty natural uh, for me to to just be be sort of orchestrating guitar parts in the studio, um, because it, it once you once you're thinking that way, it's just it's just logic. It doesn't even it doesn't require any real time or any real forethought, you know. Um, so yeah, so all over the album, I did did a lot of harmonizing in the studio, which my my brain definitely didn't retain like the memory of what I did, and and. Uh, but 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 leading into that chorus again, you know, there's still the mellotron coming in, but we we but we really tried to make it as big as possible with that big build up with the extra chord thrown in and and the uh, and and all the all the harmonized guitars, and then uh, and then that chorus, the, it's a double chorus, and the first half of it is is like the other ones with just the the two uh, the double the double rhythm guitar. With the tur Boss Turbo Distortion, and then, um, and then, and then a, a guitar part comes in. Uh, two guitar parts come in that are in harmony with each other that are going like. They sound funny right now because it sounds like this is the root, but really it's. I had two, I had I had a harmony to that going on, and then and then uh, three quarters of the way through through half, halfway halfway through that part coming in, and then then two other guitars come in on the right that are going like. Uh, and that probably either that part or something like it, and and. Uh, and a harmony to that come in on the right. So you've got a full like kind of queen harmony, you know, separate separate groups of harmonies going on, one in the left speaker and one in the right speaker. Um, that's what gets fun with harmony. You get you get one group in one stereo spot and another group in another stereo spot. And the queen is kind of the pioneers of that. And then
and then um, and then and then we, you know, we Eddie Kramer came over, Ed, Jimi Hendrix's engineer, and showed us how to how to um, how they did tape phasing back in Jimmy's day, and um, and originally uh, Ryan and I we phased Anthony's vocal on on the whole on the whole song of in California, but um, uh, we, we ended up it, it, we ended up not using the mix that Ryan and I had done that on, uh, and so uh, so we didn't use that, but but we uh, but we did use where we did this tape phasing right going from the last chorus into the guitar solo and. That's actually from another mix. Like it's, it, the song was mixed twice, and and the the part that's being phased is from the earlier mix. And we didn't know if it was still going to work, but we knew we could never get that great moment again. And because everything's out of phase, the subtle differences of one mix to another didn't end up making any difference. We just edited it right in, and it, and it worked. Um, the whole solo is the whole solo is doubled. Uh, I doubled it like you know a month after I did the original one was just done when we did the basic tracks, um, and then and then the double was done later, um, uh, like a month later, and at the at the very end I'm playing super fast and there was really no way to double it like I I tried but it was always going to be a little a little different and uh, and it just didn't sound it it just seemed to sort of take away from the power of it. So what I ended up doing was running it through a, running just that part where I, the last part where I step on the wah-wah pedal and I start playing really fast. I, I, uh, we put it through my Effectron delay where we just set it to one repeat and we turned it, uh, all, we, 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 uh, we turned it so you don't have any original signal and we just turned it to a really fast delay and we took, took the modulator and just, Made it so it's modulating so slowly and and at at you know just very little depth, very little rate, um, but it makes it so it's it's not exactly it, it's not exactly a a, a consistent uh, echo, and it ends up sounding a lot like like I'm actually doubling myself, but I'm faking it, <laughs> and and um, and it makes me sound like a genius. <laughs> Who can you know double his, his own uh, extremely fast playing, which I which you know some things I can that something like that I I, I could come close, but it, it it starts to depend so much on on uh, on chance when it comes to something like that. Like so um, so yeah. So that I think I think that covers everything. That's all.